So we're back for day two at the Irish Game in America. Now yesterday we went on a mission with our little list here. We managed to get a few bits off there and found plenty of odds and ends in between. But today's mission is slightly different. We've got 50 euro left in the budget. We're gonna hit the game in America. We're gonna see how many games or just how much stuff in general we can get and see how far we can stretch our 50 euro budget at the Irish Game in America. Anyway, the last one was long enough as it is. Let's get straight out there. Let's get stuck in. Let's go hunting for some bargains and see how much we can get for 50 euro. Let's go. All right, so we've arrived for day two here at the Irish Game Market. I'm gonna head straight over to Ian's Boot Vintage Cheese. He had a really good five games or 12 euro offer yesterday that we didn't get a chance to go through. So I think that's as good a place as I need to get started today and try and get a few bargains straight out the door. How are you in? So there's a good few bins here to have a route through. I'm pretty sure we can find five for 12 in here. Pretty sure we have that one. Who is this character from? Okay. These we have already. So we'll open this one here. Dead Rising. I don't think we have that one. Ah, oh, it's the Riptide disc in there. That's pretty. We we'll keep going, keep rooting. And it's MTSC. Salt Harbor 5, actually. That's one I don't think we have. Grab that. What else is in here? That one. Mm. I'll head down here and have a little route in these ones. Mm. Sleeping dogs. Do we have that one? Diablo tree definitely don't have. I'm sure they're in there. I guess that dead island again actually. And this one has the right disc in, so happy days, we we'll grab that. So that's a nice pile of five games just to get started here. Nice little mix, probably have a couple of them already, but you'll look, we'll find out when we get home. Let's keep going, let's see what any bargains we can get. All right, so back at Adam's Boot Replay Games. We were in this bargain yesterday, it's three for five, but it looks like there's a few new ones in here, so let's have a little look around and see what we can grab. Resi 6, I don't think we have that in the 360. Here's a war, I don't want to get a war. It is all for one. You guys are so confident in what happens. That is not right. That's the Saints 12 4, is it? I don't think we played that before. Definitely don't think we have it, so. I think this is there. We'll grab that. One more for the tree. Let's see. Let's continue it on. Team M, can you guess this character? What are you guys? I'll see Renegade from the Blue Sky. Four is a notice, but I know we have that one, though. That's the four. We've actually traded it recently enough. We should be finding one here that we don't have that we might play. So, This one, turning point. I've never heard of this one before. Yeah, that'll do it. Three for five. We'll grab and see what it's all about. Just having a quick route through these disc only. See if there's anything in there that maybe we have an empty case for home that we can complete. It's mostly PS1. We don't really have too many of these at home. I 
I think I've seen most of these yesterday, to be honest. I think we'll just move on. There's a few Wii games over here that are decently priced, so we might just go over and have a little new trail to see if we can spot that in there. I know I'm interrupting the game hunt, but I'm just jumping in here very quickly to say thank you so much for all the support on the day one video. Channel absolutely blew up. We got so many new subscribers. So I just want to say thank you so much for that. But a lot of people are commenting on the market because they've never seen it before, never heard of it before, and wanted to know when it's on, etc. The next one has just been announced. It's on November 2nd and 3rd in the Royal Marine Hotel in Dunleary. All the information is on the Irish Game and Market website, which is www.irishgamemarket.com, which is magically appearing down here at the moment. And we'll have a link for it down in the description below as well. So just click on there to get all the information on the next market. Anyway, look, I'm sorry for interrupting. Just thanks again so much. If you're new to this video as well, all your support is really appreciated. Please throw a like in the video. Give us a subscribe. It costs nothing. It helps push the channel out there to so many other people. And it means the world to me when I log in and see loads of new subscribers in the channel. But anyway, back to the game. Button. I remember still dancing back today. I don't think we have a super two year old event before. Yeah, that's actually a really, really nice condition box as well. 
Stick for a bird. Stick for a bird. Stick As a throwback to the pink car, I don't know that pink car, but we never got there. Too much. Maybe one day we'll get there, but I think it's a throwback from one year a FIFA game on the end gauge, and for the sake of having an end gauge game to collect, I think we'll add that to the player and start the same. So, yeah, definitely grab it. So we're here for any we have any sensations for the game. Now we're gonna have to get over to play some Mario Park here on the stage. I know we picked up a couple of other sites, we've got PlayStation branded, we can just put our PlayStation stuff in there. I think we've got a nice little pile here, so we've got two, two, oh. Look, like a tiny T-Rex. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's great. I think we've got like 20 quid worth of stuff there, that's a nice pile of stuff to bring home for the collection. So we'll grab these and keep going, see what we've got left in the budget, and see if we can finish this little challenge up and spend our last few quid on a few nice bits. So we're just back in the car doing a quick pit stop, just trying to offload some of the stuff. I got a few nice bits there at James's boot at the end. He actually gave me a really nice little bag of goodies. I'll go through them later on and show them in the game room, but just had a few bits lying around that he thought I'd like for the collection. Some absolutely class stuff in here, so we'll get and show them off. Only realising now as well, I got stopped. I was chatting to a chap. I'll link his YouTube channel down below, Crimson Duck. Just chit-chatting away, showing him the microphone and stuff like that. He does his own YouTube videos and I realised I didn't even have the fucking thing plugged in. So with the mic attached to the camera, I have this here and I don't even have the lead plugged in so I have no idea what the audio is going to be like for the last sort of hour or so of footage where we picked up all these barking so if it's really bad I'm sorry it is quite noisy in there and sometimes the onboard microphones kind of filter a bit of it out so I don't know what it was going to be like I'll do my best in that to fix it up but yeah literally have an Aldi bag of stuff here we've got stuff in the backpack and we still have actually let's have a little look I know the wallet's empty but we still have a few coins left in here so let's have a little look and see how much is left in the budget as I think I spent 20 in James's boot there we did a three for fiver and then we spent a ten or thirty so we probably about fifty two four six eight ten so yeah sixteen euro left so we're literally down to our last eight coins so we're gonna go back in try and spend the sixteen euro quite sensibly we might necessarily get a load of bargain stuff I think we're kind of done with that now but let's go in and see if we can even get maybe two games for the Wii U collection two SNES cards yeah something like that to round the spending off anyway and then we'll have one last lap try not to spend that on the card I swore that I'd stick to the cash but you might see something else nice in the way which you never know but we'll jump back in there now as we're going to do a quick offload of the goodies we're going to do one final lap and see what we end up bringing home with us okay, we got some Wii U stuff here I really need to start picking up filler I, just, I don't have the heart to be spending 8 and 10 euro on fucking Disney Infinities and whatever else even though we don't see them in the charity shop so yeah, unless we actually see something that we may be popping in play maybe we'll hold out for now I don't think these are exactly going to shoot up in value I know, 6 euro mm. We picked up Lego video game, but we don't have superheroes. Maybe that's one we'll come back for later on if we don't see it and else to spend our money on. But yeah, let's keep browsing. I am looking for N64, the big fan of the N64. I'm not going to lie. Right. Well, if you're looking for N64 complete, this is the place to go. These, the, these guys definitely have more N64 stuff than I've seen. There's a few over there. I know you were probably at North Down Retro Gaming yesterday. They have a lot of loose stuff. Or this is definitely, this is your... Doing, um, what's it called? Uh, 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 foreign stuff as well. Yeah. It's, yeah, um, if you want the import stuff, there's some really, really nice stuff over there as well, yeah. But yeah, definitely, you're going to get some really nice N64 boxes here. I'm trying to avoid this. Because if I start picking stuff up, I'm going to spend money that I don't have. So, and I'm going to be in trouble if I go home now and spend stuff. Box, and, they, get, they do come extra. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that's why we're doing the bargain bin today, do you know what I mean? Because we can justify sneaking in a few games that cost a euro or two, but yeah. 
like again that's usually bought uh, here and there you find anywhere uh, yeah. in, like uh, bargain dinner so <laughs> 30 quid is still when uh, complete yeah it's not bad for a complete n64 you know because they are kind of harder to come by in nice condition as well that's actually a pretty nice one if you are looking to build them up so best soundtrack you'll ever hear in your life book bumble yeah if you hear if you look that up on youtube you'll be jamming bump to the bump to the bump to the bass bump to the bump to the bump I can't even remember. I don't even remember if I played this back in the day. So you heard it here first. Crimson Duck is beside me here. Definitely go check out the Book Bumble soundtrack. Shout out in the comments if you're familiar with it, if you agree with them that it's a banging soundtrack or not. I actually don't know this game. I don't think I ever had it. Maybe we see a loose copy, we'll pick it up 50 euro again. I think we'd be shot if we bring that home. But again, really, really nice box. I'm sure someone's going to pick up a nice copy of that for our collection here. All right, so as we mentioned, we've got 16 euro left in the budget. Let's do one more full lap around. Have a look at all the boots and see what we can spend that last few bob on. Just jumping in very quickly to advise you to hang around till the end of the video because we've got a giveaway in this one. A friend of the channel, Alistair, gave us this really nice sealed copy of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption on the Wii. So make sure and stick around for your chance to win this game. Anyway, back to the hunting. Pack of Deans, we, we picked up the bargain stuff earlier on. Oh. Come for 64 games, three euro each. Actually, there's a few bits in here that we didn't see yesterday. Any SNES cards about the place? There's a few, but nothing that I'm looking for. What are you looking for? I'm looking for, I've got three on the list. I'm looking for Waterworld. Oh. Uh, he says, yeah, never knew. I love the film, I never played the game. It's probably shite, but I have to have it now that I know there's a game of it. Um, uni Rally. Do you remember Uni Rally? The one we go around this debate, yeah, Uni yeah. Cycles. Had that years ago, can't find it anywhere. It's only like an 8 10 quid game. Yeah. And what was the other film looking for? Rock and Roll Racing. Yeah. I remember Rock and Roll Racing, I had like all the, it was a Black Sabbath and all the music in it, like it was yeah. class. And then what was the fourth one? I had four on the list. Oh, International Superstar Soccer Deluxe. Oh, just, it's memories. You know, that kind of way, like. I don't know, I'm just I'm trying to spend my last like 16 euro now. I'm just trying to decide whether to seek it. I bought a few cheap SNES cards, a few Wii U games. See what I can get, like, yeah. I think Green Wine Retro had a good. I already cleared them out. 
The amount of random, the random shite that I just bought off him is unbelievable. Like, I got an Engage game, I got a Commodore 60, a FIFA, like, yeah, it was yeah. Euro. It was like, after Euro, we'll get it for the crack. Oh, really, yeah? Yeah, it was when I was addicted to my handheld. Yeah. But I had to stop myself. So no, you have to, like, yeah. My school had Engage as a phone. Yeah, I was. A, I don't, really, I don't even remember it being a thing. Like I'm probably that bit older. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just like there was yeah, a bit of buzz when it was released and it just died in that. There's yeah. no like good exclusive games. They're all like ports, like Sonic. No, like when I was like when I was in school. Like the only handhelds that were was like, the, 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 never had a Game Boy, like Game Boy Color even, that came out in what, 99? So I was probably in my last year of school then, like, you know? So there was never really, a, like, Tiger handhelds, that's what I played. I remember the Tiger handhelds all right. But, yeah. Any PS2 or Xbox things you're looking for? I think I went through them, I think I pretty much found everything that, like... Yeah, you picked out a few good bits, actually. I was just looking, I was trying to see if there was stuff there that I, that I didn't have that I could just randomly find, you know? Yeah. I'm saying that there's like a down to the bottom layer here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I went down to the bottom layer there now. Hang on. Do you want to? Oh, it's huge. Uproot the place, it doesn't matter. Exactly, yeah, wreck the gap at this stage. Yeah, maybe we did. So we're not really seeing any SNES carts. Wii U stuff. Like I said, I think we're gonna wait and grab a few of them and see. Yeah, so we've got 16 euro left. I don't need these. So. We've got a little pile of the Commodore 64 games at this stall here. We're gonna count them up and see how many's here and see if we can make a play on them for the money that we have left. Now, I have a question. Yep. 19 Commodore 64 games here yep. for euro each. Of 16 euro left in the bag. Will that do it? Oh, do. Yeah. Legend. Course, Thanks a million. Sorry, right, never get you a bag. That's us blown out now, so that's all our money spent. We'll get these back to the game room and have a look. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely good way to finish it off, yeah. Class would help if I actually paid you, I think I'll get the money out. You got cash or card? I'll give you cash. No Might give you a few two-year-old coins. Yeah. That's all good, yeah. Put this thing down here. There you want to say 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Amazing. Thanks a lot, man. Like Alright, so that's us wiped out back to Commodore 64 to end off the day. So we'll get them back to the game room now and have a look at this and all the other stuff that we've managed to pick up over the weekend. Oh, you alright? Yeah, out of here. You're heading off, yeah, yeah? Yeah, I have 250 left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can have a Mario Jigsaw for 250 if you want it. I'm gonna be honest though, I didn't count the pieces, so. <laughs> Alright, so we're just on the way out the door, saying goodbye to Adam here. Realised I hadn't actually spent all my money at the last one. We had two euro fifty left, and he said we could have this Mario jigsaw. Now, no guarantee all the pieces are in there, but I think that's going to display in the Mario shine really nice. And now we're officially broke, leaving the game of America. So we're back from day two at the Irish Game of America. I had an absolutely unbelievable weekend. Managed to spend our entire fifty euro budget and got a nice mix of stuff. So let's get stuck in and let's have a look at how much fifty euro can get you at the Irish Game of America. So our first stop today took us to Ian's boot Vintage Shoes. He had a really good three euro each or five for 12 euro offer. There was crates and crates of games there. I just had a little bit of a free ball flick through. Obviously I've got over a thousand or so games here. So it's hard to keep track of what I have and what I don't have. I do have them all listed on the Game Boy app on the phone, but I wasn't getting that out. I just said we'll have a bit of crack with flick through, try and pick out a few that we don't think we have that we've never heard of. Something that kind of looks good from the cover art and get them back home and get them a wallop. But the first one that we grabbed was Sleeping Dogs. This is one I actually already have, believe it or not. But this one is complete with a manual and the disc was actually really nice in it. So maybe we can upgrade our own copy or something like that. At those prices, you can't go wrong. You actually gave me a really good deal on these as well. Be able to pay a tenner for the five of them. So two euro each. Absolutely can't go wrong. Grab this Turning Point Fall of Liberty. Didn't know much about it. Someone, I think it was maybe Adam at Replay Games. I was kind of showing him the few bits I picked up earlier on. He said this is supposed to be a pretty good game. So again, if you've played it, you know, let me know. Grab the copy of Dead Island because you can't go wrong with those games in the 360. Diablo 3, again, don't know too much about, just looked decent on, that's my Zelda ringtone going off on the phone there, I forgot to mute it. But yeah, Diablo 3, looked decent from the cover art, looks like something that'd be a bit of crack to pop in, and then just randomly grab this Delta Force Black Hawk Down Team Saber, because some of these games on the PS2 can be absolute bangers, so for two euro each, said, 
why not we give them a go so we just mentioned adam there in his boot replay games we went back to have a route through his bargain bin he was doing three for a fiver but i mentioned that turning point game i actually picked that up at his boot i'm getting my piles mixed up here but the other one that i picked up from ian's boot in the five for 12 or five for 10 as it was in the end was this soul caliber five and this is another one that i actually already had again probably picked up in the charity shop years ago just left it on the shelf and never touched it so didn't really know i had it so another duplicate for the collection but we'll have a look and see if it's trading for it and maybe we'll bring it up to cx in a little pile and get something nice for it or else maybe we'll just do a little giveaway or something like that we wait and see don't forget to stick to the end of the video for the giveaway as well by the way i mentioned it earlier on and your two games that we got from adam's boot were this resident evil 6 again can't really go wrong with a resident evil game i don't know if there was any absolute dark ones in there or not maybe this is it i don't know and a copy of saints row 4 again just kind of handy games to throw in and have a go of the ones so that was two good stops picked up eight games for like 15 euro all in swap for a really good start and then next we headed over to james's boot rewind retro game and i got stuck in over there and got a nice little pile we'll have a look at that now see i got another nice pile of games from james's boot but got a few of these as well so we get these out of the way for us this playstation wallet is pretty class it's got like the embroidered playstation logo on there i mentioned i've got wallets all over the place and i did get a few recently in a video but they didn't really hold that many discs so this is class this has got like probably enough room for about 50 60 discs in here so we'll move all our loose disc playstation stuff into this wallet this will be a nice way to keep them all organized then i just grabbed this fifa 2004 on the n-gauge just for the crack it was one euro i've never even seen an n-gauge game before actually do you know what i don't even know what they look like i'm gonna be completely honest we'll rip this open and see i was talking about this and actually got a little conversation going i don't know if i got it on camera or not oh so it's kind of like a little ds card basically oh it's you know what it is it's a sort of like an sd card obviously and you just put a label on it obviously that one's gone a bit worn over time yeah but this is cool it came with the manual and everything so yeah like i said it kind of sparked a bit of a conversation about n-gages and stuff like that if you had an n-gage back in the day let me know are any of the games any good in it or is it an absolute dirt console i've absolutely no idea I completely skipped this one but it's kind of nice to have at least one n-gage game in here we want to try and get at least one game for everything that was ever released so we'll have to keep an eye out for a few more oddities at the next one but yeah fifa 2040 n-gage definitely the only n-gage game i've seen there if you caught one on camera that i missed let me know but i don't remember seeing any more so for one euro as I said, a bit of an oddity, but why not? And then just grabbed this Commodore 64. I mentioned that we can't leave without picking up Commodore 64 games. Let me look going bleeding mad at the end, but look, we'll get to those. But just picked up this Pub Games. Nice little compilation one. Definitely one I either had this or had something very similar back in the day. I used to love just, I say popping it and playing it, but it probably took a half an hour to load the bloody things up. But yeah, it was grand just for a little casual game or whatever like that. But yeah, like these sort of double case collections for the Commodore 64 and for two euro, why not? We'll add it to the collection. And then picked up another seven games at James's boot. Nothing too crazy here we're talking about, but I like kind of picking up random sort of Wii games and stuff like that when they're cheap enough. Ones that we don't have, we might pop them in and have a bit of crack with them one day. But grab this Chicken Riot. Long term viewers of the channel will know I love a kind of like an on rail shoot or just a shooting game in general that you can use the Wii remote on the telly. Kind of takes you back to old arcades and stuff like that. So maybe this is a good one, but for Euro, look, we'll throw it in and we'll point the gun and we'll have a bit of crack with it. Grab this Battalion Wars 2. No, absolutely nothing about it. Again, it was a Euro, never seen it before. Just got it. That's what the addiction's all about. Speaking of addiction, got this Geometry Wars Galaxies again. No, nothing about it. We'll probably never throw it in. It looks completely weird, but as I said, for one Euro. We were just picking up bargains, picking up random stuff. And then grabbed this LEDs. And this is one that I had on my want to playlist for a while. I've seen someone recommend it in the video before. Maybe it was like Metal Jesus or something like that. But I'm pretty sure I do. I actually have this one already. So I don't know. Again, we'll have a look and see if it's worth adding and trade. But if it was selling for one euro, I can't imagine it is. So maybe we'll just add this to a little giveaway pile. Grab this Extreme G Racing. This one did seem familiar. I think this was, was this released on the Nintendo 64 as well? Maybe that's where I'm familiar with it from. But yeah, it was two euro. It was complete with the manual. So we just grabbed that one. Picked up a copy of Stuntman because everyone had Stuntman back in the day. I actually completely forgot about this game until I see it at his boot there. So definitely going to pop this in and have a go. But if you had this one back in the day, let me know. But yeah, I remember having hours of crack with this. So yeah, one I'm looking forward to having another shot of. And then I'd mentioned that I was sort of on the fence about buying cheap Wii games, cheap SNES carts or like that. So we kind of just grabbed one more cheap Wii game over there and picked up a copy of Splatoon. It was only €8. Euro. I said I'd pick up games for the Wii U all day long once they're less than a tenner. And it looks like something that we might play. As we'll get around to getting the filler eventually. I still hold out hope, even though i never see them that we might get a few of those in charity shops for a year or two but yeah splatoon is a popular enough series again one i've never played you'll have to let me know if you're a fan of it but yeah another one for the wii u collection and one that we might actually have a go of one day but yeah before we left james's boot he had a little bag of goodies put away from just odds and ends that he found that he thought i'd like to have for the collection here or to put in the game room maybe give away to a few people so i did mention this very quickly at the car but i didn't go through it so we'll have a very quick look 
The first thing up was this poster. It's a Commodore 64 poster, which is absolutely class, because we all know how old school that is. And it's signed, I can't remember who he said signed it down the bottom. If you recognize that signature, You'll have to let me know who it is. It'll come back to me. He told me who signed it. He said he got it signed at the convention or something at some stage, but it's just been sitting rolled up. So I don't know, maybe we can kind of like flatten it out and get that into a frame. That's something that would be really cool in the game room. I've mentioned before, I'd love to get like a really old, like little retro corner going over in the only little empty space I have left in this room, just to get like an old school telly and TV on it and plug the Commodore in there. So maybe that's something that'd be nice on the wall behind it. So we'll definitely keep a hold of that. We got this really cool Gears of War 3 banner. Again, old skill viewers will know, I do have one other banner in here. I actually don't think I even showed it in the last game room tour, so that's something I'll have to pick up on for the next one. But yeah, we have a really cool original Mortal Kombat banner, so kind of find it hard to find a way to display these. The Mortal Kombat banner is more of like a sort of a horizontal one, whereas this is more of a vertical one. So I don't know, we could probably hang this behind a little Xbox stand or something like that, but we'll definitely do something with that. And then what else did he give us? Oh yeah, this really cool, you know, I don't need to say anything. But this is a nice canvas style Breath of the Wild poster. It's not gonna fit into the frame, so we'll have to kind of do a little pan along with it. But yeah, we'll definitely find somewhere in here for it. Like, even if we just stick it as it is onto the wall, this is absolutely class. I did joke with Mrs. Retro Games earlier, but put up in the sitting room, but that idea was shut down fairly quickly. So we'll have to find a space for it up here. This is actually really cool. This is like, um, came with like Nintendo 64 magazine. It's just a little small plastic stand, but you can get like six N64 cards into it. It has little divots in there. So that's definitely something that we'll use. We'll find a little spot in the game room for this, and then we'll get a few cards and display them kind of at an angle or something like that. But you know, I love displaying my cards sort of sticking with the label art face now. James knew that too. That's why he threw it in and thought it would make a nice addition to the game room. So looking forward to getting that in there and finding a nice little spot for it. And then last but not least, this is actually really class. This Batman Returns joystick. I think he said it doesn't work or else he hasn't tested it to see if it works, but this isn't something that we'd be looking to play with. This is actually really cool. I thought about a little spot that I could put this in, in the game room, but I think I know someone that would appreciate this even more. So I think we'll give this away as a little gift to someone, but yeah, really nice little piece. Thanks so much, James, for throwing those in. You know me, I love going through a little mystery bag of stuff and I love oddities like this, but in this case, I think I know someone that will appreciate it even more than me. So we'll get it sent out to them. It. And then we're nearly there. We got this bag of Commodore 64 games. I only thought I had 16 euro left, so very kindly Ian gave me like 19 of them. I think they were priced for euro each, gave me them for 16. I did have like 250 left in the wallet. I went back and tried to give it to him, but he was having none of it. He just said get something random on the way out the door. So that's when we went to Adam's booth at the end. Actually, while we're on the subject, we might as well show it off now. This Super Mario Jigsaw, he had a price for fiver. I just asked him, had he eaten for 250? And he said, go ahead and take this. Now, we don't know if all the pieces are in there. It looks a bit mental anyway, like we don't mind doing the odd jigsaw here, but this one looks a bit too crazy. We'll probably end up killing each other if we tried putting this together. So yeah, something that'll probably just display nicely in the Mario Shrine. But yeah, we finish off with the bag of Commodore 64 games here. I have absolutely no idea what was in here. I kind of just seen the Commodore 64 games, knew I had the money to spend them. And you know we love an little Commodore game here. We've got about 20 or 30 of them up in the corner here. We have to have a whole bag of them up in the attic that are kind of missing the original cover art and stuff like that. But obviously these are the ones we want to display, so. Very quickly, just have a look at some of them here. Turbo Kart, the Roadie, Splat. Again, just some of the cover art, as I said, on these is absolutely class. Like, look at the game itself. I don't even know what's going on in there, but back in the day, it was cutting edge. You know yourself, lads. But yeah, a few other random bits in here. Ski Simulator, four Quattro Sports, so we had four of them in there. But yeah, you would have seen them sitting on the shelf anyway, so really nice little grab there. Really nice way to end the video. When you kind of look at some of the stuff that we picked up with games from like Wii U, we see in PS4, we see in PS5 stuff there. But throw it back and finish up with a nice old dirty bag of Commodore 64 games, you can't go wrong. So yeah, that was it from the game of market. Hopefully you enjoyed the two videos. I kind of did my best to save some of the sound from the start of this one. It was my own fault. I just completely forgot to plug the microphone in, so it was just onboard camera audio. And of course, I was talking to the camera thinking I had a microphone here when really it was out here all the time. But at this stage, I would have done my best to save some of it. Hopefully it didn't ruin the viewing experience too much. But thanks as always for checking out the videos. Hopefully by the time this goes out, there'll be another game of market announced and we get to see us all there. But yeah, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for supporting the channel. And we'll see you all again in the next one. Cheers. I completely forgot about the giveaway. If you want to win this sealed copy of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, courtesy of our friend Alistair, all you need to do is slip the word Metroid into a comment down below. I'll enter you into the draw. We'll leave it open for a week and then we will tag and pin the winner at the top of the comments here. So best of luck.